Hi, this is Luke for Production Experts, and this is using RipX Deep Audio from Hit and Mix to remove a vocal from pre-mixed audio. Now this is useful if you need to do a mix minus for a bed or any scenario where you might not have access to the stems or the multi-track files. Now if your DAW has ARA support, then you can use RipX directly within that. In my DAW, I'm using an Audio Suite plugin, which allows me to take the audio from my DAW into RipX Deep Audio. So I've just made a shorter clip just to speed the process up a little bit. And then all I have to do is just click RipX and then that pulls it into RipX Deep Audio for analysis. And as you can see, it's more of a spectral based editor rather than a time based one. But let's have a listen anyway, see what it's done. Okay, so first and foremost, let's hear what it does when I mute the vocal. So pretty impressive. There are a few artifacts, but it's sounding pretty good. And if I go through the individual stems that RipX has picked up, then we can hear the actual quality of the separation. So here's the vocal on its own. There was a time when you nearly made me change my made up mind. And if I click individual notes in this harmony over here, you even get those on their own. And if I wanted to, I could even do some simple correction just by. Let's have a listen to this guitar stem. OK, so it's pulled in all of the keys in there as well, but that's kind of forgivable because they are all playing very much in the same register. So I'd be very surprised if it had separated those out. Let's listen to some bass. Got some kick. And when Ripex Deep Audio talks about drums, it's talking about everything that isn't kick. Okay, let's see if our cymbals are in the percussion stem. There they are. Now, if I wanted to, I could use Ripex Deep Audio to completely change my arrangement. So if I just solo up the kick, for example, I can make a marquee selection around those. And then just click this arrow next to a different stem to place them in there. And then if I solo up that stem, lo and behold, those kicks have been moved into my vocal stem. Bit of snare spill there, but I'll forgive it that. So lots of possibility there. But for now, going back to my original purpose, I'm just going to mute the voice and just check that I'm happy with that. Now, because we have a lot of room left there, I can just simply turn up other stems to fill the space. So this guitar stem is, as we know, carrying the keys as well. So I can simply just give that a little lift just to redress the balance. sounding a little bit more like it was mixed without the vocal in the first place. So nothing stopping me from using Ripex Deep Audio for remixes and other uses. 
And once I'm happy with that, I can simply render over the top of my existing audio in Pro Tools. Or for a lot more control, I can use the export command. And that gives me a few different options. So obviously the destination directory down here is where the real magic happens because I can either do a render of my new mix straight out of RipX Deep Audio, or I can even have separate stems. So that's using RipX Deep Audio from Hit and Mix to remove a vocal from pre-mixed audio. It's not unique, but it's certainly one of the best ones out there with some real forensic functionality there if you need it. To find out more on RipX Deep Audio, head over to the Production Experts blog to read our full article.